Hi, I'm Alex Joseph from Doc365. In this video, I will tell you how to promote links in SharePoint online. Microsoft SharePoint is a great tool to share content and encourage users to learn new information. Promoted links are the easiest way to ensure that important data is reaching users easily. Promoted links are links to specific pages in SharePoint that you want to direct users to. You can promote or share day-to-day -day work materials to policy documents using this method. There are different ways to add promoted links to pages of your SharePoint sites. You can easily add promoted links to pages by using three web parts. Quick link web parts, highlighted content web parts, and the hero web part are ideal for this purpose. Let's see how to add a quick link web part to SharePoint page first. To get started, go to any of your SharePoint sites and choose the page you wish. We are in one of our communication sites called DM Brainstorming. We are about to add some promoted links to one of our pages called Ideas for the Week. So from the home page, we are going to that particular page. So we are in the page right now. Let's add the quick links web part first. For that, you need to change the page into the edit mode. Just click on the edit option seen at the right part of the page. This page is now in the edit mode. When you click on the plus icon in any of the sections, the web part search box will appear. Search for the desired web part here. We are choosing quick links web part here. As you can see, the web part is now added. Click on the add link. Just click on the add link option and you will be taken to a new dialog box from where you, you can choose any item you wish to display in the quick links web part. The recent items is one main option. You can also choose some stock images if you wish. There are enough images. You can also choose any of your items from OneDrive. And there's also a site option. You can also upload anything new here from your desktop. And finally, you can also put a link over here to any site or any item you wish. So I'm choosing a document here. So let's choose a document from the view. Let's go with the time entry report for now. You can add any number of items from by clicking on the add links option. At the web part. Uh, I will also pick an image. I'm just choosing random images right now just to show the functionality. You can also move this web part to anywhere you wish. Right now, uh, we don't have any other item in the page, so we we'll slowly. To edit the items in the web part, just to select the item and click on the pen icon. So you can choose uh, the title of the item, the link, and also you can choose the thumbnail of the item over here. There's also an option to enter the alternate text field or thumbnail image or thumbnail image. And or if you have made all the changes, you can just republish. So this is how you can add a kick link web part to display your promoted links. The next method is to uh, add a highlighted content web part. For that, you need to go to the edit mode and click on the plus icon anywhere you wish to add a new section. We are just adding a new section here first. And just click on the plus icon and 
search for highlighted content. So by default, all the documents you have recently uploaded will uh, or accessed will be displayed over here. You can uh, edit that by clicking on the pen icon here. So uh, you can see uh, the filter options, uh, the source. You can uh, source. Uh, you can change the source to uh, any other site, uh, document library, site collection, etc. Or as you wish. Can also choose all sites. Uh, once the source is set, you can choose the type of document you wish, whether it is pages, news, videos, images, events, anything you wish. And you can also choose a filter. There are some enough options here. And next is sort by. You can also sort the uh, items displayed in this highlighted content web part with these options most recent, most created, trending, managed property, asset printing, etc. Some of the options can also, uh, there's also an option to uh, turn on and turn off the enable audience targeting option. There are also a uh, few layouts available. You can choose either choose it to the list view or the grid view. Uh, we like the grid view as it has enough options and details shown as default. And if you haven't made enough changes, you can republish the page back. Now we have a quick link web part and also a highlighted content web part in this page. The third web, web part you can uh, use for uh, adding promoter links to your page in SharePoint is the hero web part. Uh, before that, I will just show you how to delete or remove any of these uh, web parts. Just choose the web part and click on the delete icon and the uh, web part will be removed. You can also delete the section by clicking on the delete option just near the section. So uh, yeah, this is how it goes. And before going republishing the page, uh, let's add uh, one more web part. Uh, that is the web part. For that, let's add a section first. And like in, in other cases, you can just search the hero web part here. Before making changes to the web part, just uh, first just choose the layout you wish. Uh, there can be one tile, two tile, three tile, and four and five, five tile options. Uh, let's go with the three tiles option, and then just click on the select link option. Let Let's choose uh, stock images uh, for now. You can also choose any of the options from upload site, or one drive from a link, etc. As you wish. The hero part is actually more graphic oriented, so uh, it will be better if you can choose any item that is more graphic rich. Maybe let's say uh, if you wish to promote an event or something graphic related, it, it will be more better. Well, let's just choose some images and complete the updating process. Once you have chosen the images, you can just click on any of the items and just click on the pen icon, set a different title over here. And there is also option to 
set custom images and if you don't want to show any image you can also choose to color block and last option is the alternative text option describe the image for people who can't see it and uh, there's also option to show call to action link you can also uh, enter the text for the call to action link it's as default it will show as learn more if you wish to change the call to action text you can change it over here and you can also provide a link to which this image should be redirected so once you have changed made all changes you can just click on republish and the carousel, the hero, the pod carousel will be present. When you are creating a communication site, uh, a hero web pod will be by default added. So, in case if you wish to add the hero web pod to any of the uh, inner pages or other pages other than the home page, you can do it like this. Hope you got a clear idea about how to add promoted links to your SharePoint pages. Have a good day.